so this is heading south out of Crewe Haven uh, coming down towards Doris Moor uh, and we're looking the view from behind the boat is dead north and we're doing at the moment about three and a half knots there's a little bit of tide with us and we want to get down to Carse um, really before the tide turns. It turns quite quickly and then turns against us. Uh, and at this speed we should just about get there about low slack water, which will be uh, all we get done uh, today. This is us sailing uh, down to the uh, bottom end towards the McCormack Islands. Um, uh, but before we get to the McCormack Islands, we will turn and head north back up Loch Sween to Tavi Alec. Um, currently doing uh, six knots um, in a nice 4 3, perhaps 4, a uh, little bit more wind than we'd set off in. So this is sailing into Lusser, having crossed over from uh, Loch Sween in almost perfect wind direction. Thought it might be on the nose, but in the end, with a little bit of tide, we've done it in one leg. There is a gin distillery <laughs> just up the road, which would be possible to visit. Last time we arrived here, there was a stag standing on the shore waiting for us to come in, almost marking its territory, saying that I'm in charge here. So this is sailing uh, up Loch Craignish, uh, having come across from Dura, sailed quite a way and then just had to put the engine on, the tide was running quite fast and there was a little bit of a danger at one point, being sucked down to Sound of Ling and missing, uh, actually just missing Loch Craignish. Uh, it is spring tides today and we are at the point of maximum flow, we're mid mid tide. It did rain quite hard earlier, it is now sunny and there's blue sky, although there's a massive rain cloud still down the bottom end of Jura. And over on the side there is Dor the famous Doris Moor, which actually looks flat calm from here, and even with the binoculars it looks quite benign. I think it's because there's very little wind running, blowing, and it's not really kicking up, but you'd still go through quite fast. So we're now going to sail up to the lagoon, which is an area sort of south of actual Ard Fern, where you can anchor, and you can actually then walk into Ard Fern. So this is uh, just coming through Doris Moor at what I would think would have been slack. It's just turned. Um, they reckon 12 o'clock we came through about 10 to, 
so that's not bad. Um, very um, uh, flat, um, uh, just a little bit of current. Quite a few boats came through at a similar sort of time, um, both directions, which is always a good sign, it gives you a bit of confidence that actually your calculations are the same as everyone else's. It doesn't mean they're right, but it just means everyone else is making the same mistake. So that's looking back at uh, Doris Moor and quite a way off, and it may not be quite visible, there's a Cape Cutter following us through and then over to the right behind the islands uh, is Crinan uh, and where the canal uh, comes out. At the moment we're heading directly towards Corrie and Vecan, but we'll just get clear of these rocks and then I think we'll tack. So this is us heading up the sound of Ashuna. Uh, the wind's just filled in and just over um, on the right in the picture is Corrie and Vecan and then looking strictly behind us is straight down the uh, sound of Jura and the weather is completely different from yesterday. Just blue sky, odd cloud, no hint of rain. Yesterday, the sky um, down at the bottom of the Sound of Jura was just one big cloud. Now, in the very far distance are a number of other small boats. There is a Cape Cutter Rally on at the moment, we've found. And by the looks of it, they're going to head off down the Sound of Ling and go to Poldoran tonight. I had a little read of their plan on their website, and they're basically gone from Largs through the Crinan Canal, obviously Ardfern at the marina last night, and tonight using the flood tide to get up to Poldoran. It did say they were going to spend the night at Poldoran. An exciting time in the Sandling. I think they, yeah, it will be running through the Sandling quite well time they get there. So, so this is uh, the sound of uh, Shuna and on the left uh, we're heading straight for is actually the south end of Ling. There's three wind turbines on the top which give a good indication of what the wind's doing in this area. You can see them and it gives you a sense if some wind's going to fill in or not. And directly ahead is the little village and harbour of Tobronica. us heading down in quite a good breeze down the sound of Ling. Uh, just had to put a reef in because the wind suddenly really got in. The tide's with us. I have no idea what speed we're doing. I'm sure John will tell us afterwards. This is the view out of the stern of the boat and as you can see absolutely really flying along. 